hi all welcome to my channel data vista today we are going to see how do we use scan component into ab initio so the purpose for using scan component is basically for every input record scan generates an output record that consists of a running or a cumulative summary in to roll up we used to generate only one output record per group that contains the aggregated value or the summarized value that we are calculating into our rollup function right S similar way scan it produces multiple output records or the number of input records and the number of output records will be same and it will be generating a cumulative summary so suppose if we want to find out the successive year to year total for a group of records we will be using scan because it will generate output records for each year similarly for a group of record if you want single output record which consists the sum of all the years data right then we'll be using roll up component so roll up component link i'll provide into description box kindly go through those videos where we have discussed roll up component in detail and then you will be able to use both roll up and scan component into ab initio okay so what are the parameters available into scan component how do we use it what are the functions that are available into scan component we'll see using our ab initio gd so without wasting time let's go to our ab initio gd and see how do we use scan component okay so scan component is also available into transform folder we can directly drag it okay scan also works on a particular key or a group of record so the prerequisite will be sorting data and provide it to scan component based on the key right so we have two options available into scan as well input must be sorted or in memory operation and we have discussed it in detail into our previous video so kindly go through the previous video and check what are these parameter used for okay then again into scan component we have two key methods either we can specify a particular key or we can use key change function right if we are using key method as key specifier then we'll have to provide a key and into transform function transform parameter will be right uh, will be writing the logic to aggregate our records and to generate the cumulative summary okay then again reject threshold parameter will be getting three values over here about on first reject never about use limit and ramp function right and we have discussed about these values into our previous videos in detail okay so let's see an example and we'll discuss what is the runtime behavior of scan what are the functions available and how do we implement it so i have an input file where i am having department id employee name and salary and i want to probably generate some of these salaries based on department id okay so we'll first sort it based on department id and into a transform function we'll directly map the columns okay but before that let's define the key transform function into scan okay we'll have to write our output dml okay temporary type we'll define we underscore sum it will be of type decimal length say save changes yes into initialize we'll initialize the value to zero you can initialize the value from your input records as well so if you want to initialize the value for first record it should be similar to salary you can initialize it with the salary then into scan component what do we want we want to do some 
of this temporary variable to our input salary and we want to assign it to v underscore sum right and to finalize we'll assign the variable v underscore sum to salary and the input columns okay click apply we'll view it in a text mode so it will look something like this okay here we are defining our temporary type initialize function scan function and finalize okay now let's run this graph so number of input records and number out of output records will be same right and it will generate a cumulative summary or running summary for each group and for each record so we will also view our data okay so if we'll see for department id 10 first record first salary is 10,000 so 0 plus 10,000 is 10,000 then for second record it has added both of the salaries for third record it has also added 9,000 to the salary which was which was calculated previously and similarly for 20,000 and for each group okay so we have only seen 10 records that's why it is showing us only 10 output record if you select it to the end of file it will show you all the records okay so scan component is generating running summary or cumulative summary okay so if we use scan component into expanded mode what are the functions available how many number of times those functions are called and how do we use it into expanded mode we'll see the runtime behavior of scan component so in the beginning we have this temporary type where we declare our temporary variables and it is called only once whenever scan component is being executed it will be called only once then we have initialize function this function is used for initializing the value of the temporary variable that we have declared and since we have to initialize this value for each group it will be called once per group for each group it will initialize the value to the default value that we are writing into our initialize function then we have input select function this one is optional and here we'll write our filter condition to select particular input records and it will be called once per record okay since it will check this filter condition on every record and it will check whether that record has to be selected for our further processing or not then we have scan component where we'll be writing our accumulation logic or aggregation logic and it will also be called once per record okay so number of input record is equal to number of execution of scan function then we have finalize function now into scan component this is also called once per record into rollup component it was being called once per group that's why it was generating only one output record per group into scan finalize function is called once per record that's why it is generating number of output records equal to number of input records okay then we have output select again output select will be called once per record because finalize function is being called once per record it is generating those many number of records whatever is coming from our input similarly output select will have to go through all those records and apply the filter condition and based on the successful uh, status of that filter condition it will filter our output records okay so these were the functions available into scan component and the runtime behavior which function will be called how many number of times and what will be the execution sequence of this function